Hello everybody, uh, Bro Mopar here again. This is actually kind of a video response to uh, a video um, Dr. Dawkins introduced creationist when you write. Um, but uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about something other than just a video, so I didn't think it was appropriate as a response. But I did want you to know that that is what, basically what inspired me. Um, one of the things that uh, Wendy Wright, uh, who is a prominent member of Concerned Women for America, uh, one of the things that she was saying to, to Mr. Dawkins was that there's no evidence to support evolution. Um, Dr. Uh, Richard Dawkins refuted her claims and stated that there's been fossilized records and also there is um, evidence inside our own DNA in our own bodies. Um, she said that's not evidence. In fact, she said it over and over again. Um, even Dr. Dawkins said, you know, that it was like a mantra. Uh, and I wanted to, to uh, approach that point right now. Now, there are many fossilized records, and more and more are being found every day. We find fossilized specimens in Africa, finding in the United States, South America, Europe, um, that, you know, show that there have actually been other species of human beings other than us. So, basically, Homo sapiens, um, we weren't the only game in town for quite a while. There's been Cro-Magnon Man, there's been uh, Neanderthal Man, um, and there's been uh, Homo erectus, uh, Australopithecus, Afarensis, I believe, was, was the first, and there's, and there's even evidence to suggest that there was possi possibly um, a earlier example of human life before Australopithecus. Uh, that's still being studied. Uh, we've only found some finger fragments, uh, as well as uh, makings of tools that are much older than uh, the previous Lucy that was discovered in Africa. So, um, fossils uh, do provide a fair amount of evidence. And when we compare the skeletons of the fossils to our own skeletons, there are several remarkable uh, similarities, especially in the skull, also in our spines. Um, these uh, creatures were able to walk upright, like humans, uh, and they actually looked somewhat like uh, the apes and gorillas that we have today, which cannot walk upright. They can walk with, uh, what we call semi-erect. Um, however, uh, the words of creationist Wendy Wright, that's not evidence, uh, are really, <laughs> well, kind of ridiculous. Because, you know, you can say that's not evidence. You can say that... Uh, the science was wrong. You can say that you've reached the wrong conclusions. You can say that these are aliens from Mars. I mean, you can say anything you want. Um, but the fact of the matter is, there's nothing backing that statement up. You know, when someone says, after studying, you know, these fossils and realizing that the skull and the jaw structures is very similar to human beings, uh, we have discovered that they did walk upright, they used tools, they worked in, in tribal structures, much like human beings, and that these were early human beings, and it proves that we evolved from animals. You can't just say, no, that's not proof, it's not evidence. You haven't proven that these are early human beings because there's not enough information. Um, you know, you haven't found enough, you know, they're not enough like us to prove that we've descended from these animals. They're, you haven't found any biological data, you haven't found this, you haven't found that. Um, when you start talking like that, that is the intellectual equivalent of saying, nuh uh, which is childish at best. Um, you know, take a look at, the, at the, the skeletons. I've actually seen pictures of them, and there are remarkable similarities. I mean, the animals were a little bit shorter than we are, they're a little bit uh, smaller on stature. But they had tools. The tools were found nearby the fossils. They were found in areas that we know to live. And the animals themselves do resemble us, but they're not exact. Now, that does not mean it's not evidence. It doesn't mean that at all. It, you know, basically, it does prove that human beings uh, weren't the only game in town. There were actually several species. Um, I think now there's a new theory that as many as three species of human beings... Um, may have lived at one time uh, several hundred thousand years ago during the, uh, the cyclical ice ages. Um, so when you just take all that fossilized evidence and you look at it, I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really hard to refute from a scientific standpoint. And the only thing you can do to refute it is say, that's not evidence. Which, like I said, is, you know, 
Here's proof of evolution. Nah, -uh. I mean that's your that's your argument, really. That's that's what it comes down to. You know, you as creationists have not presented any of your own proof ever, other than to hold up a Bible and say, you know, this is God's word. This is how the word was was created. Why can't you people just listen to us? And and as far as the scientists of the world and, and the people who do believe in evolution are trying to say is. Why aren't you listening to us? We have found fossils. We have found tools. We have studied our own DNA. We realize that the sequences of our DNA have 99.9 percent to do with, um, you know, apes and gorillas. You know, 95 percent to do with, uh, you know, smaller primates. 90 percent to do with with tigers and large mammals. Uh, you know, I mean, the evidence is literally in your own body, and you know. To just turn around and say that's not evidence, prove it. You know, I mean, prove it. If you take a look at the DNA, you know, you, you can really see that all the similarities are there. Now, what I'd like to know is if you're going to stand there and say, well, that's not evidence. Well, then why is that not evidence? Well, it doesn't prove anything to me. Well, I don't give a rat's ass or proves anything to you. <laughs> you know, why is it not evidence? Show me the numbers. Show me the DNA and how it can't possibly be. Uh, proof, you know, I mean, yeah, sure, DNA does individualize us to a small degree, but that is less than a tenth of one percent of what the DNA does. If you were to remove the skin of every human being, we'd be indistinguishable from one another. I mean, literally, you would not be able to tell two people apart. So, I mean, individualizing people is only the smallest part of what DNA does. And when you take a look at the fossil records and you see skeletons very, very similar to our own, just stand there and say, that's not evidence... It's, it's foolish. And really, um, here's my theory, as always. I always have theories. And this is mine about why uh, that's not evidence has become the battle cry of the creationist movement. And basically, denying evidence takes the burden of proof off of you and keeps it on the scientists. Basically, what you're trying to do is discredit the scientists, discredit the, the person's work, and say, that's not evidence. You haven't proven anything. Uh, you're, you're exploring with bias, you're, you're blah, 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 blah. By making all these accusations and keeping the other side on the defensive, you're off the hook for any experimentation, you're off the hook for any analysis, you're off the hook for any calculations, you're off the hook for any proof whatsoever. Basically, you're making someone prove what they've already proved again and again and again simply by taking really the easy way out and saying that's not evidence. Okay, the, the phrase I hate in the English language the absolute most, and I give my wife a ton of crap about this, is just like I'm just saying, that's not evidence, is just saying. Okay, Just saying is just making noise in air. Just saying means you're, you're putting words out there that have nothing to them. Basically, as soon as they're no longer heard, that all their substance is lost. By just saying, you are putting words in someone's ears that don't have to be reconciled. Basically, you're just saying words with no meaning. And you don't have to, you know, give them any meaning because, well, you're just saying, okay? You're making the other person try to prove it. Well, I'm just saying, you know, that's your rebuttal. Give me a break, okay? Grow up, okay? And... For God's sakes, you know, instead of giving scientists a bunch of crap about, you know, bias and hidden agenda and, you know, trying to cut out the rest of the world, take a look at the flipping data yourselves, okay? It's right there in front of your faces, okay? I can look it up on the internet right now. I can see all these skeletons. I can compare them to my own. And, you know, I'm convinced, okay? Evolution is real. We uh, evolved from from apes and gorillas and, and other primates, and they evolved from other mammals, and other mammals evolved from, from rodents, and, I mean, just going all the way back to the age of the dinosaurs and and everything, okay? All the evidence is right there. All you do is look at it. And instead of just saying, that's not evidence, okay? Get off your butts and actually prove something, okay? Quit getting yourselves off the hook and, you know, be a scientist, okay? Don't say, you know, oh, well, you're just making fun of me and blah, 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 okay? It's, it's childish, okay? We did that in high school. We're grown adults. And there's this wonderful thing called the scientific method. It's worked for hundreds of years. 
hasn't stopped working yet, use it, okay?